Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy. Today I wanted to do a series, a number of very short videos on different cognitive biases that have been ignored by the modern day risk managers for way too long. And I think we should stop ignoring them. This is the reality. This is what the scientists are telling us. And we really need to be mindful of that. So the first cognitive biases, which is the most common one, and uh, that's applicable to absolutely any human being on the planet. Um, and that has also a great impact on the way people identify, assess and manage and manage risks in their day-to-day -to -day activities and their decision making. So the first cognitive bias is that I, cognitive bias that I wanted to talk about is called overconfidence. And it's an interesting one. It has nothing to do with being an optimist, a pessimist, a realist. The reality is, and this is, you know, this is pretty hard to swallow, the reality is every single person on the planet is overconfident. That means they underestimate the true time required to perform an activity, the true cost required to perform an activity. They also overestimate their own abilities to perform an activity. They overestimate the abilities of other people to perform an activity and they underestimate all the different factors that surround an activity that may have an impact on its time or, or budget. People are overconfident whenever there is a situation of uncertainty. Whenever there is a, a forecast to be made so a project plan, a project schedule, budget, business plan, basically anything that requires forecasting from a human, human being is bound to be overconfident, bound to be oversimplified, shortened than it, uh, it, it is in reality. I mean, just to test your own brain, just remember the last time when you were being late for an activity or you were on the way somewhere and, and uh, another person who's waiting for you there at the destination, destination called you and said, well, when are you going to be here? A and you just re remember your experience. You always overestimated your ability to move quicker than you really can. And you gave a number, five minutes or three minutes or seven minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes, that was never even close to the real time is required to get to your destination. We always overestimate our own, our own ability. And that is the one of the most fundamental reasons why none of the schedules ever met on time, none of the budgets I ever met on um, ever met on time, or very few I should say, I, I shouldn't be, I, I, sh I shouldn't really give uh, such a rash, uh, such rash statements, but many, and I'm sure you can appreciate, many schedules are not met on time and, uh, and on budget. So that, that one is a fascinating fascinating uh, cognitive bias. There, there is a test that you can use to see if you are overconfident or if your colleagues are overconfident and uh, you can find the link to that test underneath, uh, underneath uh, this video in the comments section. Now, why is this important for risk management and why are we even talking about cognitive biases? Well, the reality is there is at least 200 different cognitive biases. Not all of them are relevant to risk management, but most are. And they are little barriers, little switches in human brains, in the brain of every single person in the world that really make the discussion about risks artificial, really make the discussion not very honest, makes it unrealistic, I should say. And that's why risk managers of tomorrow really need to be mindful of all those different cognitive biases. They have to adjust, adjust their approaches. For example, you can't just get a room of experts or a single person in an interview, ask them about their view on the, of the impact of that risk on the objectives or uh, the likelihood a certain event may occur within a given timeline. Um, they really shouldn't be doing such things because people are overconfident. Trusting a single person's point of view or trusting even a group of people without validating it yourself, without having some third-party independent validation of that analysis is very dangerous. 
And yet, this is what 99% of the risk managers are still doing. They're not using proper tools. They're using qualitative discussion-based risk analysis tools that have nothing to do with reality. And this is just one cognitive bias that I've talked about. I will explain in the future videos at least 20 other cognitive biases that have a huge impact on how we manage risks in our day-to-day -day lives. To see the other videos, do subscribe to the Risk Academy channel on YouTube. For me, for now, thank you and goodbye.